guys, and welcome back to another episode of Soccer Manager 2017. I'm here. It is November 5th, and half, almost halfway through the season, we are still top of the table. We drew against Brentford, which was a real disappointing one because they were very low on the table. We should have won that one, which really would have helped us. Alright, so we're playing Bristol. What I need to do... Actually, playing Bristol reminds me, because if Tammy Abraham is still a great prospect in this, as he is in FIFA, then I would love to pick him up as a striker. Even though I already have Mitrovic and Gale, who are already two young strikers, I feel like... Having another third one would just be instrumental in helping us win the league this year. And as you can see, Richie scores to make it one nothing over Bristol. And we are going to go into halftime with the lead. So we're just going to slow up the tempo a little bit. But still stay, still stay normal because I don't want to... Because I still don't want to completely go defensive and then have them be pounding the pressure on us. But Atsu takes it outside inside the Mitrovic and it's another goal and it's Richie for his second of the game. That was a great decision to start him in this game. They have the ball on the outside and they whip it and sells. Honestly, should be... The player of the season. He's made so many saves. And Bemba now with a free kick. Save Richie with the hat trick. Makes it three. And Richie steals the ball again. Can he score four goals for Matt Richie? In this episode. That is a brilliant performance. They score. But it doesn't even bother me. Because we're still up by three. Matt Ritchie gets the man of the match. Not unexpected when you put four goals in a game. As you can see, we're close to getting 400 credits. And when we total up to 2,000, I'll be able to start another career mode. So I would ask you guys what team you want me to start that one with. I'm leaning towards Arsenal just because I'm an Arsenal fan, but um, I'm not sure right now. Okay, we come up against Derby in the second game of the episode. This one is a needed win, so we're just going to take out Ben Hatir, put in Perez, put Perez in the middle, and then Actually, no, keep Richie in the middle because Richie scored four goals last game. And that's how we're going to keep the game. That's how we're going to keep it going into this one. They have a free kick with Christie. He whips it in and Vidra scores. Makes it one nothing. Actually, I guess it's an own goal since it doesn't give Vidra the goal down here. So I guess there was an own goal off of somebody... But now they whip. Are you serious? Uh, already, we're gonna have to make the pause, and we are going. We're going attacking because we're already down two goals, and we can't afford to drop points in this race for the title. Perez now has it. Whips it in. Mitrovic over Atsu. Two one. There you go. We get the goal right back. Make it two one. Bring us up within one now. Before halftime. Okay, at halftime, I'm going to bring in Gale up top for Mitrovic and just hope that change can bring in a goal. Uh, we're, we have more, we have way more shots than they do. We have this, um, I, we are just edging them out in shots on target. But we have been having the better chances, it seems, so we should be able to put one away. It's a foul. And the referee... It's a red card for their center back, which 
opens it up for us to come in and attack. Which means I'm going to pause it. I'm going to go on very attacking. Basically go on all out attack. Now that they have a man down. And hopefully we can nod one. But we can't. We end up going down 2-1. Cells with an own goal. Uh, that's the disappointing one. Because we really don't want to be dropping points to teams like Derby. Even though Derby are near the top. But if we won that we would have been 4 points clear of Norwich. Our new approval rating was around 66 with the fans, which is very good, and at 59 with the chairman, which I don't see why we lost. That was the first loss of our season right there, which means we've been doing very, very well. Cup. We're not even in it, so I don't know why it's still like making us pay attention to that. But we play... Baintree Town in a cup. I don't know what cup it is, but we should win this game. They're not that high of a team, obviously, because I I haven't heard of them. No offense if you support Braintree Town, but but I've never heard of them. So Atsuka the yellow card right there. Six minutes in. It shouldn't be too much of an issue. Atsu takes it up, gets it to Perez. Perez makes it one nothing, one nothing within ten minutes of the game. And now per Atsu inside Mitrovic, Mitrovic, Perez again. Oh, oh, and it looked like we had three or four shots in there that we should have scored, but it's another foul from another one of their guys, and it's a straight red card. And I think already you have to think that. It's a guaranteed win for us. They're a man down. They're not a very great team. And we have a man up, so. The ball in Gamet. Oh! What a save. The free kick for Mbemba. He's going to take it. And it's right to the goalie. We need to finish one of these chances because we. We're having all these shots, and we're just not putting any of them in. They have not had a shot yet. And now the referee can take action, and it's just a yellow card. Thank God they didn't even it up. But we're just going to keep it how it is, because we're, we're winning, and that's all that matters right now. They have one last man. They took off a central midfielder, so they don't have anybody in the center of the park, which means we should be dominating the possession in there. Perez and Mitrovic, from a very ridiculous angle, Mitrovic scores, makes it 2-1. Mitrovic in again, and he gets a second within minutes. 3 nothing, and that's the game done and dusted. But Mitrovic whips it in Perez again, so two goals each from Perez and Mitrovic. The team is playing very well now after they kick-started with those first goals, and now it makes it five. We have had four goals in the second half. And that is just how you get on. The other team must have gotten tired from not having as many men. And Perez with two goals and an assist. Mitrovic with three goals and an assist. And this is for Richie, Ricky and Atsu as well. And we are getting closer and closer to the transfer window. Which I can't wait. I can't wait for the transfer window. Because we, we, I want to make a huge signing in the transfer window. I'm going to let some players go on loan, let some players go permanently, and we're just going to bring in someone huge. So for the fourth episode of the game, we're going to play right here with Bonsley. We're going to keep the same lineup as the last time just because we won 5 nothing, so you can't really make any changes after a dominating performance like that. But the first half has been kind of a bore nothing's really happened so far they didn't show any of the game so nothing really happened now we have the ball at who takes it in Mitrovic and Perez one nothing over Barnsley that's a great way to get off
and foul by Gamma as the referee can please don't send him off. It's a yellow card. All right, Gamma has gets a yellow card here in the seventy somethingth minute, and that should be the game. Callback whips it in the header. Atsu two nothing, and that's the game done and dusted. Adam Davies on the third team. Yeah, their goalie. Again, their goalie concedes two goals and gets man of the match, while my goalie has a clean sheet and doesn't. I just, I don't get the goalie ratings in this game. It just doesn't make sense to me. And that's one of the only complaints I have with this game is the goalie ratings. They're just not, not good. Like, the defenders and the goalies get rated so much easier, even though they don't do anything well. But the manager of the month is Derby County's manager, Sells is player of the month, and Bemba is young player of the month. So again, we are just dominating the trophies for, not trophies, but the awards for the players. And as you can see in the schedule, we have a decent, we still have a big chunk of the schedule left. We have one, two, three, four, five, six games until the transfer window. So we have one game left this episode and then one entire episode. So in three episodes, two episodes, the transfer window will be here. And I want to know who we need to buy. Honestly, I want to bring in someone big. I want to offload some people so we can get some money into the club. So I can go out and buy someone big that would get the fans excited and the club excited. And we scored within a minute. Mitrovic has just been on inspired form. He must be one of the top goal scorers in the league by now. He's had at least six or seven this episode. The ball's whipped in. Emnez Graham. Dang. Equalized 1-1 one, one in the 7th minute. We're starting to get some shots. It's very back and forth this game so far. They have more corners though. And we should just... I don't know. We might have to change something at halftime if the game doesn't go any better than it has been. I had to whip in the corner. Gamez, Perez, and he takes the shot from a just not a good position. It's never going to trouble the keeper when you're facing away from your net. And you, then you take the shot. It's just not going to work. We are starting to get more into the game. As you can see, we're dominating the stats, but we're just not putting anything away. So we're going to keep it because we're playing well. We're dominating the stats. So it means we should be able to find a way through and put another goal past Blackburn. Hopefully, hopefully we don't concede it. Because that would just be terrible for our season if we could, if we would lose the second game of the episode. And they whip the ball in and they, and Graham hits the, oh my lord, it hits the post. That was scary. They have another corner. And it's a save by Sells. Getting a little lucky here with those corners there. They're doing well, but the game ends 1-1. We had 20 shots. We had four times the amount of shots they did. We really, really should have won that game. But at the end of this episode, we are second. We are second in the table. We have dropped f seven points this episode. In the last five games. Well, actually, no. We've dropped... Five points this episode. Because this game was from the last episode. Because we only played four league games today. But we are just not doing very well. Mitrovic is still not even. He's only had six goals. So I guess a lot of them he scored in the cup. But that is it for this episode of Soccer Manager. Please leave a like and subscribe for more. Twitter and Instagram links are down in the description, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for more uploads.